This video is an attempt to explain to you simply and clearly the concepts of fragments and run-ons. I'm going to ask my dog Finn to help us out. She's a weird dog. She sometimes wears antlers. Don't judge her. Let's just use her weirdness for good and learn some grammar. There are three technical terms that you need to know. They will help you not only in this video, but on the other resources I've posted in this particular post. A clause. It's a group of words containing a subject and a verb. That's what we call a clause. There are two types that you'll hear when learning about fragments and run-ons. An independent clause is a sentence. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought that can stand on its own. I'll explain the predicate in a moment, but here's an example. Finn wears antlers on very special occasions. Finn is the subject, wears is the verb, it's the action word of the sentence, and it expresses a complete thought. What's she doing? She wears antlers on very special occasions. That idea can stand alone. What's that predicate? The predicate is just anything in the sentence, the other words, that help you understand the verb. So in this case, wears antlers on very special occasions is the predicate. The predicate with the subject expresses a complete thought. The other type of clause is a dependent clause. It's a group of words containing a subject and a verb which does not express a complete thought. If we add one word, to this group of words, when, we have a dependent clause. When Finn wears antlers on very special occasions. You're waiting for something after that to finish the thought. We don't have it, and so we have one of the definitions of a fragment. It's a dependent clause. Another way that something can be a fragment is if it's a group of words missing a subject, a verb, or both. So let me give you some examples. Okay. When Finn wears antlers on very special occasions, we have a dependent clause. We need something else to finish the thought. It's a fragment. Or maybe we're missing a verb, a dog with antlers on its head. There's no verb. There's no action word. Doesn't express a complete thought. We have a fragment. Or we're missing a subject, wearing antlers on its head, a group of words that has no subject. We don't know who's wearing the subjects unless we look at that silly, silly picture. Okay, so that's a fragment. Let's look at what a run-on is. A run-on is two or more complete sentences incorrectly joined. Remember, a complete sentence is sometimes called an independent clause. They are the same thing. So, here are two examples of run-on sentences. Finn wears antlers on very special occasions. She is always embarrassed. It is a fragment because we have two sentences here and there's nothing joining them. You might also hear this called a fused sentence. Another, that's not so common in your writing. What is common in writing that I see in my students is the second one. Finn wears antlers on her head, but she is always embarrassed. I have another video on the most common comma error in the world, and this is it. It's missing the comma between these two sentences. Let's put some colors to it so it makes more sense to you. Here's our fused sentence, two sentences, one in blue, one in green, with nothing joining them. That's a run-on. Or, if they're incorrectly joined, here we have a joining word or a conjunction, and there's no comma. I can give you some more examples. How can we fix these, then? The first way is to just make two separate sentences. Finn wears antlers on very special occasions, period, or full stop, and then capitalize the next letter of the next sentence. She's always embarrassed. You can also use a semicolon when the two sentences are very closely related. You can't do this with two sentences that are just um, not at all related, and you want to be cautious of when you use the semicolon. Maybe one or two semicolons per page. It's a great way to add variety, but if you overuse it, it does become distracting. And then the third way, other than a full stop or a semicolon, is what we talked about before with a conjunction, but you need that comma. Finn wears antlers on very special occasions, comma, space, but she is always embarrassed. And that's a perfect way of joining two independent clauses or two sentences. Conjunctions, linking words, joining words, what are those again? Remember the acronym FANBOY to remember the most common conjunctions in English for, and, but, nor, yet. Any of those words, when joining two sentences, needs the comma. Okay, so let's do a quick quiz. Ask yourself, do we have a fragment, a sentence, or a run-on? And if you said to yourself, that's a fragment, you're correct. It's missing what? It's missing the verb or the predicate. My dog, my 
dog, intelligent dog, Finn. That doesn't even make sense. Sorry about that. Let's look at another one that makes a little more sense. My dog, Finn, is very intelligent. Do we have a fragment, a sentence, or a run-on? Pat yourself on the back if you said that is a complete sentence, otherwise known as an independent clause. Adding is, the verb, makes this a complete thought. My dog, Finn, is very intelligent, which is the truth. All right, another one. When my dog, Finn, barks so loudly that my skull feels like it might crack. Fragment, sentence, or run on. And here we have a fragment. Bonus points if you know what kind. Yes, you're clever, clever little hominid. It's a dependent clause. Okay, so how do we make this dependent clause express a complete thought? We have to add something to it. So now I have a complete thought, an independent clause, otherwise known as a sentence. When my dog Finn barks so loudly that my skull feels like it might crack, I try to remember that I can annoy her too by putting antlers on her head when she doesn't want me to. Last one. Do you have a fragment, a sentence, or a run-on? My dog Finn, the smartest dog I have ever known, can cause me so much stress at times. But she has a very sweet personality, and after barking at strangers, will only want to lick their faces or take a nap with them. This is a trickier one. It's a complete sentence. It's an independent clause. There's two sentences, the one in blue and the one in green, and they're correctly linked with a comma and a conjunction. Now, of course, you need more practice with this, and that's what the other links and resources in this post will help you do. Good luck. I hope you found this helpful.